to storage. So I'm gonna try to unload some of this stuff in my car and pick up some cooking stuff. I have a whole box, I think. So there's lots of rearranging I'm gonna have to do. So I'm gonna just see what I can get done very quickly so I can get back on this road. All right, here we go. So I was just talking to myself and there was no recording. So I've been driving around for quite some time trying to go to the beach and park on a beach. And so here in at Crystal Beach or in certain parts of Galveston, you can park on a beach, park your vehicle and camp out on a beach. So I found a spot, but it was too crowded. So I left. It just wasn't what I was looking for. Mm -mm, it just didn't give me that, that vibe. So it is getting late right now and I did get a late start. So I'm about to get on the ferry. I don't know, the ferry could be taking me to where I came from. Right at this point, I'm just going with the flow. <laughs> at least I have a ferry ride. <laughs> and so whatever happens when I take this ferry, because so I'm just going to see what happens on the other side of this water. I really could be going back the way I came from. So I'm just at this point, I'm going for the ferry ride and you don't pay for the ferry. So cars are waiting to get on a ferry now. So we're moving a little bit. Other than that, I think if I don't find a spot within the next hour, I'm just gonna throw in a towel and try another time. Try another time and make sure I get out a little earlier. <laughs> so I will let you know what unfolds as this day is winding down to a close. It is 6.49 p.m. And so the day is almost over. But no matter what happens, I'm gonna be cooking my dinner. That, I, I won't be doing that regardless, okay? Period. Pelican poo. So a lot of these people are going home because they go back to work tomorrow. So it's not leaving, it's not even like I could follow somebody and see where a good parking spot is. These people are leaving. And a lot of them probably uh, rented Airbnbs or they have property on the beach, lots of houses on the beach. So, I'll keep you posted. So determined to make it to the beach, it's dark. It's eight o'clock at night. 
And you know what happened? I made it to the beach. There are other people out here. Your girl's stuck. She's stuck in the sand. Stuck in the sand. And I know I can dig it out. And some said, Joy, you should get a shovel. You should get a shovel. <laughs> you come out here. Did I do that? No. I mean, if I really want to dig myself out, I can. But, oof. I wasn't planning on this. I may have to play the damsel in distress. Because a sister is <laughs> stuck. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> so, mm. so what I'm going to do, all my stuff fell down in the back. And I don't think you can camp out here. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to cook my food. I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to get my butt up out of here. And then the tide comes in, you know, at night. <laughs> so, next thing you know, this car floating, honey. So, we'll see. But, I mean, I can always take myself out. I have a box in here so I could do something with the box child but this wasn't part of the plan at all but at this point it's a hot mess back there everything fell down make sure my doors are locked let me crack my windows a little bit but they all here chilling child so let's see what we see I know one time I was out here there was flying roaches so I'm in Galveston Galveston State Park I don't know I don't know and I really didn't want to walk in the sand because then I got to get back in the car so this day did not pan out the way I wanted it to but I did not give up and now I'm stuck in the sand on the beach yeah days happy days okay so what else is next i was determined to get on somebody's beach today i didn't plan on getting stuck on a beach damn and i know they probably back there laughing at me oh well i mean i know i can get out i got that box back there i can use that as a shovel and also, if you ever get stuck, you always have your placemats. Put your placemat under your wheel. Mm -hmm. I saw that that placemat would be going right in the trash. <sighs> Alright, y'all. I'm going to take my butt home, but I got to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> I just finished calling myself digging and putting little pieces of cardboard under the wheels. I'm still stuck, y'all. Oh, what a great day. Great day. So, I guess I'm going to dig a little more. All right. At least it's nice and, you know, it's, it's cool out. Not cool, but it's, at least the sun isn't beaming. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's 8.44. <sighs> Let's try it again. Last resort. Last resort. I'm going to have to use the car mats. They dirty anyway, so. Oh, Lord. Why? And then there's some people out here, but they seem drunk. I may have to ask. Mm -mm. Okay, if I'm here to 9:30, I'll walk over and ask for some help. Okay. Ooh. Ugh. Isn't it just grand? Happy birthday to me. <laughs> but I do know, at the end of the day, I will get out. Some kind of way. Something's gonna happen. So, how it's going to happen, I don't know. When it's going to happen, I don't know. But something will happen. I'm not going to be here forever. 
just while I'm living this, this ordeal right now. Nah, there are worse things that happen. I just gotta keep digging. Keep digging, baby. That's it. Keep digging. You be alright. stuck on a beach. I just got out of the car to see if there were any other cars on the beach. And I think I saw about four or five cars. Maybe about a quarter of a mile down the shoreline. So maybe it is overnight. But at midnight, I'm going to throw in the towel and crawl to the back. about to go to the bathroom and then maybe reflect on this time that's in the car. I kind of want to sit on the hood of the car. I brought a blanket and I'll have to vacuum the car and all the good stuff when I get back. So it looks like I'll be out here in the morning. But see, I, for me, it's too hot at the height of the morning and stuff. So maybe by 10, 11 o'clock, I'll have to, I'll start digging again to try to get out of here. But it is quite peaceful. And thank God it's not very hot. It's not very hot at all. And you know, I have fans and stuff in here. I don't even have the car on. My windows are cracked, but I'm not sweating. It's comfortable. But when I crawl to the back, I'll be turning my fans on. It is very pretty. I wish you can see. I wish I had the right camera where you can see at night. It's really pretty. The waves coming in. So, this makes me reflect on I never thought that I would see another year. I have surpassed my brother, my sister. My mother, I'm assuming my father, I have no idea, my biological. I have surpassed all of their ages, and I never thought that I would live past my mom's age when she passed away, and she passed away fairly young. And my sister, I don't, I don't even think she was 40. My brother definitely wasn't 40. So, although this birthday hasn't been what I expected, I have lived to see another year, a year that I didn't think I would ever see. So that in itself is a blessing. Has my life gone the way that I expected it or wanted it? No, but I believe that whatever is destined for us has already been mapped out. And what's gonna happen is what's gonna happen. I'm thankful I'm here to see this beautiful view on the beach. And this is where I said I wanted to be, but I would have left. But I guess the man above said, no, you sit here. Use this time to think, reflect, sit still. I guess until security comes. I don't know, maybe you can camp out on this beach. I have no idea. But it is what it is. I'll be here to see the sunset, which will be the start of a brand new year for me, a birth year, the beginning. Okay.
gonna see what else this day holds. Like every day is like impressive. What's gonna happen in Basil's world? Who the hell knows? <laughs> All right, I'll check in with you later. You didn't have to leave now. I know you can't see me, it's too dark. I was like, you didn't have to leave. I don't have work tomorrow. I think they thought I have work in the morning. I probably would have been more in a panic mode if I did, you know. That's why I was like, oh, I'll stay for the sunrise and blah, blah, blah. They hopped in that car and drove on out here, child. I was like, no, you didn't have to come. Could have came later. Could have hung out. You want me to do it? You know you little. This is just for me. When you feel like, like, I don't have anybody. You know, sometimes I do get a little lonely. But honey, let me tell you, friends, you don't have to hang out with them every day for you to say you have friends. These, Monica and her husband came out, left their house like two in the morning, honey, to dig me out. And I was like, you didn't have to do that. I don't have to go to work tomorrow. But that's, that. those are real people. Those are real people, okay? Those are real people, that's all I'm saying. And when you in a situation, you'll find out who your real friends are. Period, point blank. And they didn't hesitate at all, but they did say, well, they have the day off so we can come to the beach. I was like, well, come on. You know, I got food, I can share the food, okay? I can share some of this food, all right? We can, we can make do, we can have like a, a brunch. So, you know, that, that's, that's what it is. You find out who, who's there when you in a pickle. I was in a pickle and luckily they were available. So I'm very thankful that, you know, I was still, I didn't panic. I was just like, I'll just dig myself out in the morning. But they had those good shovels. Y'all had the good shovels. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal Beach 
and I did not know you could park on this beach because it was crowded by the entrance. So what happened, they, ha they do have parking and they have a bathroom and a shower and I was, the parking spaces were booked. They were packed. So I left thinking that I could find another space further down on the beach and I didn't see any more entrances. And so Monica and Darwin told me that this is the only entrance. And I was like, I was here, I was here. So now I know, and they said this is probably the only beach that she could park on. But, so I didn't spend my birthday alone and it just showed me, it just showed me how full my life really is even when I feel like I'm alone. Does that make sense? So I guess that was my lesson to let me know that I'm not, I'm never alone. Ugh, I knew it was a lesson. I said I just didn't know what it was because every, every year I feel like I'm alone. And so I just say, oh, it's just another day, it's another day. But that lesson, let me know, unless you know you're never truly alone. There are people who care about you and love you. They came out two o'clock in the morning <laughs> to dig me out. And I said they didn't have to. I said they could have waited until the morning, but they were both worried. They was like, you need to get you a peek. You need... But I was like, I, I don't want to hurt anybody. <laughs> I don't want to hurt anybody. <laughs> so I'm not sure how long I'll be out here because I don't know what the heat is like, but the breeze and everything feels so wonderful. Now, if I had like maybe a little hoodie or something and I took all clothes out of my car, I just dumped it in my storage. So I need to go take care of my storage facility as well. But for now on, I wish I had a chair. I wasn't looking through that stuff in storage. I know I have a chair. And so, I'm gonna close out this video that although there were obstacles that I had to overcome, I never once stressed about those obstacles. And I knew it, I knew it. I said, there has to be a lesson. And I got my lesson to let me know that I'm loved by many people and some of you. All right, guys, have a great day.